Greetings, everybody. Hope all is well. I am Candice G. Smith of Lovely Grace Holistic, Solu Holistic Solutions. Excuse me. <laughs> so I tried to say it too fast. And I'm here to do your weekly energy reading. Um, this is a very general reading. Um, there are two groups of people right now. This energy right now is very black and white. So this reading is from today, which is 314. Well, bless you know, it's from 314, which was yesterday. 2021 through... Um, March 21st, 2021. Okay. Um, so this is a weekly energy reading. So basically I'm going to talk about the way that you're going to know if this reading's for you. I'll talk about what you may have been recently going through, um, are currently going through in the current moment and what's coming. So if you're in group one, um, you've been going through a tower, a major tower, um, something in your life are some things in your life have completely like it's almost like it's been a breakdown like something there's may there may be like a sudden change in your life um that you did not see coming and it's almost like the universe is trying to break you down um so you can see some things within your life that need to be changed um, so you've been going through some things that are you just like, how the hell is this happening? You know, it's some things that like, again, that are very unexpected. Um, it's, it almost seems like it's one thing after another that just keeps happening. Um, it could be a breakdown of a relationship. It can be a breakdown of, um, your financial situation. It could be a breakdown of your health. It could be somebody in your family going through something. It could be anything. Uh, a tower is when like your walls, the walls around you begin to crumble down. Like everything, like it falls. It's quick, sudden change that may feel very uncomfortable, um, either emotionally, mentally, or physically, even spiritually. So if you've been going through something and it's like, it's just, it came out of nowhere. It's something that happened very quickly where it's all of a sudden like a quick change where it's like, it seems like you're going through one thing after another Someone's like, oh my God, like what can happen next? Then likely you're in group one and this reading is for you. So here's what's coming up for this week. Again, this is between, um, I'm supposed to do this. I'm sorry. I was actually supposed to do this yesterday, um, but I didn't get a chance to, I was out and about and, um, and spending time with Giselle. But, um, so between 314, 21 and 321, 21, it looks like here what's coming up for you is um, some of you guys might have a tower that may have to do with your living arrangements. Um, or there may be something that suddenly has changed where you have to um, either move, like look for a new place or find somewhere to go. It's, it's definitely something with housing. Um What's coming up for you is there's something that has to do with um, a move, a change of address, um, and like that relocating. Um, this could be something that's of a lesson. So for some of you, like your breakdown or what your tower is all about is really like you feeling stable, like your stability. So for some of you guys, you might be forced to move out of a situation. And for some of you, um, you're moving willingly, but it's, it's like it's time for you to move. So there is, for group one people, um, a lot of you are either going through something that has to do with relocating, uh, a change of address, um, having to leave a home, or having to leave something that you may have felt was a sense of stability for you. Um, some of you guys may even have on a positive side of this. Well, all of this is really positive. But some of you guys might even have like a new job offer or like a chance to relocate. But it's it's something with movement. Um, and that's very that's actually very positive. But there's there's definitely something with quick and heavy movement. Um, again, for some of you guys, it is a breakdown. It's a lesson, and you're gonna have to move. Like you have no choice. You gotta go. Like you have to move out of a situation. It could be um, a splitting up of a relationship, a breakup. It could be um, you might be losing your home. It could be you just be, be maybe you're just in the market of a new, for a new place and you're buying a new home. But 
um, there is a sense of movement for you and a focus on um, your living arrangements in this up and coming week. Okay. So group two people looks like here currently you guys are going through a situation where it's almost like it's definitely like currently or in your recent past. Um, you've really been evaluating your life. Um, and maybe you've been actively making like actively making life changes. Like that means that you realize that there's something about you that needs to shift or change or maybe something that you don't like, or maybe you realize you were repeating a cycle and you've been actively trying to make these changes that are needed for you to, it's almost like letting go of your old ways that aren't working for you any longer to make some changes in your life. So you've been doing certain things. Like you may have been, um, um, you may have been uh, actually um, doing energy work, um, self-healing, um, ch changing things around, getting rid of things that no longer serve you. Like you've been in this, like this place where it's like, you've been, you've realized that your old ways are no longer working for you. And it's really time to make some changes. Like you've realized that you've realized change is needed and like literally you've been making the changes in effort to actually change and um, shift things. Um, you're moving into a position right now, like you kind of made a decision that you're going to be happy. Like, so if you're in group two, you, like you're in a place where it's like you realize there's some things about you that just need to change and you've been actively making these changes, actively like walking toward uh, actually making these changes. Um, and the good thing about this is that you are, you're actually making these changes and well, you're attempting to anyway, but once you actively truly decide, or you might be in a process where you're trying to decide if you need to make changes or not, but once you truly decide, um, you're going to feel this like heavy load just being lifted off of you. And some of you guys already have already felt that and already have experienced that, but it's almost like for group two, you're in a position right now where you're trying to make positive movements forward. Like you're, you've realized there's an issue. You've realized that there's some out, uh, um, some outdated mindsets and concepts that, that you currently have. Are you realized that you have been stagnant? Like you realize this and you've actively, actively have been making these changes, the change and to, to, to really have a better life, to be happy. Once you actually know what to change and how to change it, you're going to feel a major load being lifted off of you. I cannot, and like, you're going to be feeling like, almost like this renewed a sense of happiness. So that's what's currently going on with you. So if you're currently going through that or have been going through that recently, this message is for you. What's coming in this week for you? Um, you have something, some important message or news that's coming in very soon for you. Um, it may be like about like a new idea, a project, a job. It's almost like for like a lot of you, you may have been praying for an answer about something. Um, and it's just going to come to you. It's just going to come. So there's a message and some, and, and the message can come to you in like a dream or through a person or through, it can come in any type of way. Be open and accepting um, and receptive to any type of idea or project. It, it can come in any type of way. I uh, felt through a reading with me. <laughs> it can come in any type of way, but there is something that's coming in for you very, very soon. That's going to give you like a solution or an answer to something that you've been trying to figure out. So get ready to take action. When you get this answer, take action immediately. I cannot express that enough. It's going to be so important to take action immediately. Um, get ready for action. And that's the, the strongest message is get ready because whatever's coming in, it's like, it's coming in really, really fast. And this is something you've been needing that you've been wanting for that. You've been asking for it. Like it's that small piece that you've been asking for. Um, when it comes in, get ready for action. Like it's going to be, um, it's an anticipation that's going on. Like, like, so some of you guys, you actually feel it. Like you feel the anticipation coming in. 
Um, there's a connection with your inner feelings and intuition that, that's here too as well. So for some of you guys, your instincts and intuitions with making decisions is way clear, is way open. And it's like you have something like your answer, like a message that's coming in. Do not second guess it. I feel like a lot of you guys in group two, you second guess things, you question everything, you don't trust yourself. It's so important that you take action when this comes in because it's coming in this week. It's coming in this week. Um, like your career or your like your finances, like even who you are as a person is being highlighted this week too as well. Um, it's almost like there's some like a little bit like of a light that's kind of sh like shining upon you. Um, but, but it's trying to help you to build this firm foundation and go into your new beginning. Like that's so important. It really is. It's so important. Um, if you've been feeling imbalanced or a little off to group two, if you, if you feel like a little off in any type of way, um, I am showing that there will be some type of a sense of, um, like emotional security that's coming in for you this week. So you're going to, I don't know, I don't know what you've been going through, but it's almost like you're the group that's like literally been working to try to have a balanced life. Um, something's going to be happening for you maybe around like Wednesday-ish, Wednesday, Thursday, where you're going to finally feel emotionally stable again. Maybe you've just been feeling emotionally off, but you like your emotional stability like you'll be feeling way more grounded, way more grounded, way more secure um, toward the middle end of this week, okay? Um, also, too, and this is what's so crazy, and I, I, I got to tell you this. For some of you guys, your focus is not really on trying to, if, if you're single, that like your focus may be on trying to regain your uh, emotional security and um, your... Um, just being grounded, like your emotional uh, fulfillment. But it's a possibility that you you have somebody coming through. It's like a destiny, a partnership. Um, I know love came through. I was kind of shocked when I saw that too, but it's like one of those things where it's like, you have this like, this, like it's like this change in the air that's going to bring you extra happiness. And for a lot of you, it means that you're going to be meeting a destined life partner this week too as well. And like you may not even know that they're your destined life partner yet, but I feel like you might cross paths or you might come encounter with um, a possible destined partner, like a destined life partner. Um, and that's here. Like it's, it's almost like be open to it. And that goes back to almost like being open and being ready um, for whatever messages might come through. You might even get a message from a destined life partner. I don't know, but there's like some type of message that's coming through or confirmation or something that's coming through. It can be about work, your job. It can be just an answer you've had in, like the, within your heart or within your mind that you wanted to have answered, something that's been unanswered for you. Or it could possibly be what, like a message from a destined life partner. But whatever it is, that ultimately it's going to bring you some type of extra happiness. Um... Or whatever message that is that comes in, it's going to like literally going to, it's going to place you on your path to receive your goals. Okay. So just pay attention to it and be receptive when it comes. Do not let it pass. It. Oh gosh, I can't, I have the feeling a lot of you are going to let it pass by this wish fulfillment card right here. Although it's wish fulfillment, her arms are crossed, her legs are crossed. It's almost like, yeah, but I don't know some of you guys, because you have so many, like you don't, like you have so many deep issues when it comes down to trusting yourself and you're so afraid to make mistakes. When this comes in, it's almost like, well, yeah, but do I want it though? But do I want it? Like you're questioning it and it will pass you by. And so a lot of you are going to be going through that where you will be missing an opportunity, but I'm hoping that you don't. So that's why this message and this reading is so important. So Hope this helped. Um, looks like it's going to be a pretty interesting week. This this energy is definitely pretty pretty different. Um, but if you have any questions or if you want to talk personally, uh, or book a session. If you feel like you're in either one of these groups and you need some more clarity or just need some help with making decisions or whatever the case may be, um, please feel free to contact me through my website www.candicegsmith.net and book your session. I do have the special with the healing sessions and this month too as well, um, where, you know, you can get a healing session and a reading too, as well as a combo. So if you need me, you know how to contact me and all my information will be in the description box. Okay. So you guys have an amazing and blessed week and I'll be talking to you soon. Bye.